It's still the breakfast on Plus TV Africa. Monday, Thomas joins us this morning. He's a sports analyst. Uh, he joins from Aquibum State. Monday, thank you for joining us on Friday. <laughs> Good morning, Mercy. I'm feeling great. It's just two days to the World Cup, and I can't uh, wait to get on with it. But just before we get to the World Cup, uh, let's, let me share your thoughts on it. Yesterday, we had an experience with Portugal, uh, international friendly. How did you feel? We lost for Sarah. I feel better this morning, especially now that coffee is not on, on the air with you. So I feel great. I mean, on a day where the Black Stars have gone a beat Switzerland, two goals to Neil, that same day, the Super Eagles of Nigeria, the supposed Super Eagles of Nigeria, lost by four goals to Neil against Portugal. I mean, it, it was not just uh, a humiliating game, but... It was a game that uh, we thought that we could get something out of it. And uh, yet again, Nigeria will be just Nigerians. And uh, if you take a look at 2022, it, it has not been a great year when it comes to friendly. I mean, uh, letting Guinea go and uh, bringing Joseph Pissarro. And we thought he was the uh, savior. But once again, we are seeing Nigeria not playing as a footballing nation. And the question marks on the, their performance yesterday. Uh, for me, I feel terrible. I feel terrible to be associated with a country like this in this time. There was a time I was just having a conversation with some of my friends, and I told them, hey, Nigerian players are not as good as they think they are. Look at what happened yesterday in at least one, a penalty, and then everyone is, everyone is trying to kick a penalty. No one knows how to play penalty, but everyone wants to play it. Like Emmanuel Dennis, he stepped up. He made an absolute joke of that penalty, and it was an easy save for uh, Patricio Ruiz. But I, I, there are some positives I would get from that particular game. Uh, Osai Bright, that particular player, impressed me a lot. He plays for Fenerbahce. He's a winger, but yesterday he played from the right-back position, and he was tremendous. Also, I saw Alexi Wobi. He's continued from that form from Everton, and he... He, he was one of the best players on the pitch for the Super Eagles of Nigeria. But there are some players, I think their time with the Super Eagles is over. The likes of uh, Ogene Kari Tebo, he should, just, he should just hang in the boots. I mean, he's not a quality player anymore. Th I'm thankful, thankful, thankful for what he did for the Super Eagles of Nigeria. And also, uh, age great football. But I think his time is up. We should uh, evaluate the whole team or possibly uh, overhaul the whole team because we've got yeah. great talent. Uh, Monday, we yeah. need to move away from pre-World Cup and talk about the World Cup proper just a few days before all of that. Uh, 32 teams and what should we be looking out for? Okay, okay. Uh, talking about the World Cup, I mean, it's the biggest football showpiece in the world. I mean, it's a time where the world is going to be elated. The sporting world is going to be elated. But, uh, you know, it's the most talked about World Cup as well. Some people say it is uh, arguably the uh, most controversial World Cup. We know World Cups come with controversies. I can remember the controversies that came at the 2014 World Cup. Uh, the uh, workers were not treated well. It's the same controversy currently ongoing in Qatar. The immigrant workers and also the human rights talks. But I, I reckon that if we focus uh, uh, with the main game, if we focus on what is at the center stage, which is football, like they say, a beautiful game. So I'm anticipating a beautiful game as well in two days' time when uh, Ecuador will kick, kick it off with uh, Qatar. But my favorites, my favorite Messi, take me for my words. You know, I'm really good at predicting uh, this kind of things. I think Brazil will win the World Cup for the record extending six times. Oh, wow. Oh, well, I uh, would we'll definitely keep fingers crossed and see how all of that pans out. But um, how, how do you feel about Africans player, uh, you know, player of the year, not being part of the uh, World Cup for 2022? We're talking about Sadio Mane there, who used to play for Liverpool. And of course, he's no longer with Liverpool. Uh, how does that make you feel and exactly for Senegal now? It's a crushing blow. It's a very massive blow to not just uh, Senegal, but to the entirety of Africa. Because how is a World Cup going to go on without the best player in Africa, Sadio Mane? He has maintained consistency since his days at, uh, at uh, Red Bull Salzburg, moving to Southampton before going to Liverpool. Now currently banging in the goals again, uh, for banging in the goals for Bayern Munich. And he's been ruled out for three months. It's, uh, it's a shame and uh, it's, quite, it's quite sad. It, it means that uh, once again, Africa have no chance of uh, winning this World Cup because when you take a look at the, uh, the ranking, 
Senegal are the most or the highest ranked African side and they are the current African champions. A lot is expected from them. And yet Sadio Mane, who is the best player in that particular squad, is injured. There is absolutely nobody we are going to bang on again. But, you know, football is a game of our determination. If they've got the Greeks, if they've got the tactics, I think they can seal uh, whether the storm, they can still get past any huddle. I'm tipping Senegal to still go as far as the quarterfinals. And uh, for me, they are going to be the best or the most impressive African team at the 2022 World Cup. So, but, but, but I mean, apart from, you know, uh, Sadio Mane being part of the Senegal team, are you saying that Senegal cannot uh, become itself or cannot, you know, prove itself without Sadio in that particular place? I'm, 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 I'm still uh, tipping Senegal to be the most impressive African side at the World Cup. The likes of uh, Boulaye Dia, they've got Edouard Mendy who has not been in great form for Chelsea, although he has been playing some games. At the last three games for Chelsea, he started for the Blues. They also have a Khalil Koulibaly, who also plays for Chelsea. I'm still tipping Senegal. I mean, this uh, missing out on the best player could serve as a motivation. Some players who want to step up, some players who want to be like, okay, Mane is not around, but I'm around, and I can step up to the play. The likes of Jackson, who plays for Villarreal, the likes of Bulaye Dia, who also formerly played for Villarreal. These players are capable of taking uh, Senegal, uh, Senegal very far, and I'm tipping them to finish at the quarterfinal stage. This year, African countries are doing greatly, but I'm not seeing them uh, making it to the semifinals. To be very honest, Cameroon, uh, Samuel Etoy, uh, the president of Fega Foot, had uh, hinted or had predicted uh, that Cameroon will win the World Cup this year. Also very possible, but when you take a look at the crop of stars they have, I can only maybe at the top of my head can just remember uh, Chipo Motin, who is doing greatly for Bayern Munich. Uh, but for the rest of the, uh, the, the, the players, I'm not sure they can go far. Maybe uh, uh, around a 16, but for Senegal, they're going to make it as far as the quarterfinals. Well, let's see how everything pans out. I mean, with teams like Argentina, Germany, Portugal, uh, what have you, you are actually rooting for Brazil. Not to make, uh, you know, nonsense of them, but we will be watching. Brazil, <laughs> the same country, Africa. Uh, I think uh, they have a you, you know, you know the, <laughs> these, are, these are very strong and very, very powerful teams right there with awesome players. But um, uh, fingers are crossed. Let's see what happens in 2022. Thank you so much for being part of the show. It was great talking to just you and not coffee. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> uh, we'll definitely return with the breakfast oh, on, Monday, <laughs> uh, on Monday. And uh, all things spinning core. Uh, that's it this morning. If you missed out on any part of it, it would be great to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We are at Plus TV Africa and Plus TV Africa Lifestyle. Thank you so much for being with us this morning. We'll join the newsroom at 9 o'clock for the news brief. Please stay with us. I am Messi Ibopo.